As they approach the line, Guy and Jensen form up for a rolling start. It was great looking across and seeing his eyes and seeing him nervous about driving something that is just so normal to me. When the lights go out, the race begins. The lights went off and he lit it up pretty quickly. I just thought, let Jensen do whatever he was going to do. Then, right, I'll just try and stick with him. Follow me through the high speed, right, left. And then he was away. Yeah, that was about the first and last that I saw of him. Jensen now pushes to build up as big a lead as he can before his pit stop. And Guy needs to do all he can to keep that gap small. I had a couple of moments early on. As I got into a high G turn, I felt the car move. I didn't have enough confidence to push on beyond it. I wasn't going to try and keep with Jensen if I didn't feel comfortable. And I definitely didn't feel comfortable at the pace he was going. As Jensen comes in for his pit stop, he's already opened up a 10-second gap over Guy. But as Jensen sits in the pit lane, Guy rockets past and takes the lead. Jensen rejoins the track, now 10 seconds behind Guy. Then we did the little pit stop for me, came out, and then I started catching him. Certain corners, I watched him through, and I was like, yeah, he's brave. You know, he's, he's pushing it through there. The cars are pretty similar on speed, but he seemed to have a lot more downfalls than what I had, and a lot more skill. And I caught him in quite a tricky moment. I was like, do I go around the outside? And try and overtake him? I was like, yeah. I looked at the way that he was placing the car, I was like, he hasn't seen me. So I backed out of it. I didn't know he was there. He's got enough experience, he knew that I hadn't seen him. And then towed up down the straight into Stowe. And then he did me on the brakes at the end of the back straight. I'm sure he was looking at me going, I was a bit quicker then, so I hung on to him for a few more corners from then on, and then he was gone again. But his car just looked like it was sucked to the floor. I, I don't try and do what he's doing. You're not in the same league as him. Just keep on doing what you're doing. If you haven't crashed it, you're doing something right. If I'd have pushed beyond that, we'd have been digging around the gravel. Jensen takes the chequered flag. But Guy has impressed everyone. For a first go, and in front of all these people, he did really well. He was sensible, he built up the speed, he looked good out on track. Excellent in a word. A perfect way to end everything that we've done with Guy over these past few months. I hope he enjoyed it, I hope he learnt a lot. I'll go to sleep tonight happy that I couldn't have done any more. But I'm a bloody racer, and I'm always thinking, right, I should have. Would have, could have.